This is Nate Riggs with NateRiggs.com, and I'm here with Chuck Heeman, who is with WCG now, formerly with uh, Edelman. And uh, so thanks for taking time with me today. Thanks, Nate. So you presented today at Social Fresh. What was your presentation on? Uh, we were talking about uh, making listening data actionable and usable across the organization outside of PR and marketing. Okay, so really a, a presentation on data and insights, but I thought as, as wonderful as that was, you touched on a lot of stuff that was related to social business design. One of the things I heard from your presentation was that we have so much data, but we don't have a lot of insights, and nobody in the organization knows what to do or claim those insights. Yep. What do you mean by that? Like, what's the challenges you've seen? So I think um, at some level, people are overwhelmed by the amount of data they have at their fingertips, right? So if you think about your own online patterns, you do a Google search, that creates a data point. You click like on Facebook, that's a data point. You comment on a Facebook post, that's a data point. You tweet, that's a data point. So there's a lot of data available to companies, and I think that is a really overwhelming thing. Um, to some degree, um, we struggle with how to consolidate those ins the, that data into something that's actionable, not just for PR and marketing, but also for customer care and sales. Um, that is the biggest challenge, is consolidating the data, setting a goal, so what are we actually going to be listening for and sticking to that? Instead of trying to boil the ocean and listen to the universe, a great example for you is Dell. Dell has somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty-five to 30,000 mentions every day happening online. They have very specific goals on what they want to listen for, and they stick to it. They don't try and boil the ocean and listen to 30,000 mentions. Okay. Um, if they did, it would be a super labor intensive effort. Now, they are listening to that in entirety, but they've chunked it out into different parts of the organization to make it a lot more manageable. So how are you seeing organizations make it manageable in terms of like disseminating the workload across the organization, across departments? What, what have you experienced in the past? I mean, a lot of it is obviously headcount, right? But I think the tools are helping us make this process a lot more manageable. Um, Radiant 6 has a great workflow functionality. There are a lot of great CMS platforms like Spreadfast and Argyle Social and some others. Um, and as those companies start to integrate more with the listening programs, it'll become a lot easier to manage that tremendous workflow with a little less headcount. I think we're going to have to get to a place where there is a chief listening officer at a lot of companies okay. or there's a centralized resource maybe sitting within market research that focuses on the listening. Yeah. Um, but at this point, we have to really rely on tools before we can scale up. So if you had one recommendation for either like midsize or, or enterprise business in terms of listening to the web and figuring out how to do that, what would it be? Huh. Good question. Um, I would say don't skimp on the resources. Um, far too often we are picking a tool and not knowing exactly what to do with it. Take the time to hire somebody out in the space that really understands the tools, how to make data actionable, and how to work within a large enterprise. Then that person can go and turn around and pick the tool. Without Going in the reverse order tends to be a huge drain on resources. Yeah. Purchasing an enterprise level uh, subscription to some of these platforms is several hundred thousand dollars, yeah. and they often sit on the shelf. So find a person, put them in charge, let them pick the tool, let them build a team, and I think you end up with a better output from your listening programs. Amen, brother. Well, thanks very much again, Chuck Heeman, at Chuck Heeman on Twitter, and I uh, really appreciate your commentary today. Thanks, Nate. Right, appreciate thanks. it. Bye. Thanks.